the ghost town of Varosha, located in the city of Famagusta in the north part of Cyprus, was completely abandoned in 1974. Famagusta used to be a prominent Mediterranean holiday destination, known as the jewel of the Mediterranean, with luxurious resorts and famous visitors, including Hollywood stars like Elizabeth Taylor. However, in 1974, the inhabitants had to leave their homes due to an ethnic conflict between Greek Cypriots, the majority of the population, and Turkish Cypriots, being the minority. You may be wondering what exactly happened for Varosha to be left in total abandonment and the island to be divided. Cyprus is a coveted island due to its location and has been under the control of various empires and powers throughout history. After gaining independence from Britain in 1960, it was established that the president should be Greek, the vice president Turkish, and the Turkish community would occupy 30% of the seats in parliament. Additionally, Turkey, Greece, and Britain were granted the right to intervene on the island if necessary. However, over the years, the country experienced tensions between both communities, which eventually led to a coup in 1974 by Greek Cypriots seeking to unite the island with Greece, an act they called Enosis. Turkey intervened in the conflict and launched an operation to occupy the north part of Cyprus to protect the Turkish Cypriot community, which caused a large displacement of people from both communities, fleeing to opposite sides. Varosha, once a district of the coastal city of Famagusta that was once vibrant and full of life, was frozen in time after the conflict in 1974 and became a no man's land. For almost five decades, it was off limits to the public, but just a year ago, a part of Varosha was open to the public. However, access to the buildings is not allowed, is totally forbidden, and Turkish authorities closely monitor the area. Really guys, being here, it feels like it's just a place taken from, from another world. It just feels so surreal. I like, as soon as you step in, it's like if you're in a post-apocalyptic movie. So I don't know, like I have many feelings, you know, but just imagine that once this town, this place, this beach resort, it used to be one of the most lively ones in the whole Mediterranean in the 70s. It was even considered the jewel of the Mediterranean, and now it's just a ghost town.
Although the beaches remain beautiful, the hotels and apartment complexes are abandoned and serve as a reminder of the tragedy that occurred in 1974. Currently, Cyprus remains divided into two parts, the north, controlled by Turkey, and known as the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which is not internationally recognized except by Turkey, and the south, controlled by the Republic of Cyprus, where the majority of Greek Cypriot population lives. The United Nations monitors the Green Line, which is the division of the island, north and south, and there are also two military bases controlled by Great Britain. The situation in Cyprus remains an unresolved conflict, and thousands of families from both communities have been unable to reclaim the properties left in the conflict zone. <laughs>